Hello and welcome once again to another Jurassic World Evolution video where I do a parody of WWP the dinosaurs having battles and stuff. <coughs> God, what a way to start the recording. My throat is all like, Bleh. so I got a cough. <coughs> Clear my throat. Nice view, isn't it? The ring looks a bit meh. <coughs> To be honest, I made this park the other day and I didn't really put too much effort into it. I was like, it's been months since the last one and I think that was when I last played the game. So I was like, I can't really be asked, but hey, the continuation is like, the longer I, you know, uh, man, that really doesn't look right to see it. Damn terrain, Jurassic World Evolution 2 is a thing now. Don't know where they'll be released, but maybe they'll make it a bit easier to build stuff like this, I don't know. If it does end up being released on PS4 as well, which I hear it is, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And I'll probably get it. And maybe have a continuation of this stuff in that game. It'd be like, okay, half the roster has been fired. <laughs> it's just like, because maybe some dinosaurs aren't going to make it into the sequel. But anyways, what we do here, in case you've never seen any of uh, my videos of this, is basically we're going to have matchups of dinosaurs fighting each other, and that's about it. <laughs> got six matches on the card for Dino Slam 2021. So the first match, we'll have the challengers. This is a tag team match. You know, the thing is, it's been so long, right? I had ideas for this one, like, back when I did the Dinomania one earlier this year. And I honestly couldn't remember half it. I wrote down the match card, but I think I had other plans as well for a different match, but I can't remember. I think this was an idea I had planned since back then, though. I mean, instead of having Triceratops, Triceratops, or Taurosaurus, or Taurosaurus, like have a bit of an odd pairing because, you know, herbivores get along, they'll fight back against the carnivores, that are the champions. Now, introducing the reigning and defending tag team champions. So I just kind of like, I was thinking, okay, I'll give him a different skin for each one, but then I was like, I can't remember what the skins look like. I could have double checked first, but I was like, I can't last. So both rainforest. Right, now that the match is, oh, right off the bat, I've got up the combat set to uh, normal. And again, right on with this match, maybe over before you start. Now, normally, if you had a Taurosaurus go up against Albertosaurus, that would not happen. But they're quite equal there. And as you saw when I was releasing them, uh, where did you show it? Uh, yeah. I've altered some of the uh, stats. Basically, 109 for Taurosaurus and Triceratops on attack. 59 for defense of Taurosaurus, 58 for uh, Triceratops, because Triceratops couldn't go up as high as Taurosaurus. As for Albertosaurus, I pretty much, they pretty much, you know, had the advantage, so I just boosted their attack a bit to make up for the defense disadvantage. So this could be an interesting match then, but with it being set to normal, it might, you know, uh, might go on a while. I might set it to maximum at some point, just like I usually do. Uh, this rain is just like, it makes me feel like I'm actually there. It's like, oh, it's looking cold. Not because I got a fan on me, to be fair. 
Oh yeah, before that happened, I forgot. Gotta have a goat referee in here. Although they are not respected one bit by the carnivores. So now, uh, after that exciting introduction, things dramatically slow down. Got six matches on the card. So, uh, it's definitely gonna be. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, uh, Record the first three matches and then record the last three matches some other time. Until the last three matches. I, I imagine the, uh, you know, uh, fifth and the sixth match will be fairly straightforward because it's uh, both are singles matches, but the fourth match on the card is going to be a two out of three falls match, so that would be extra long, probably. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, you know, let them rest a bit. Say when it gets up to about 70% health again, then I'll set it to maximum if they haven't, you know, already killed each other by that point. So let's just sit back and relax. <laughs> and imagine this. Something like this in wrestling, the wrestlers just get in the ring and they're just like... It's a big ring, isn't it? This is just kind of like, uh... Do nothing. Just kind of wander around. And sleep on the canvas. Also, this is, uh... Is it uh, Murta East, I think? I can't remember. It was the uh, Dr. Wu DLC gives you this island. It's like, look at that, it's not beautiful. Too bad you can't go over there. Well, from the uh, few clips I've seen of Jurassic World Evolution 2, we are going to get something like this. You know, some kind of cool looking desert place. Certainly spice things up. Yeah, and close to 70 now. That really bugs me. <laughs> I did try to even it out, but it just doesn't work. I hope they, you know, make the terrain tools much easier. And you know this, for example? Man, looking at it now, I don't think it's like... Well, obviously, but it's not perfect. But what bugs me when I'm trying to make, like, you know, a perfect square is it's really hard to judge if you've got it right. What would really help is if you could do it in this kind of mode where you're looking at the map and do that. Or at least have like a kind of grid, you know, showing you if you're like, if it's going out of the pattern you're trying to make or not. Because you just have to kind of guess. And it bugs me. Okay, it's definitely over there now. Okay. Maximum time. It's like I'm gonna fight a fish. Our source doesn't want any of that. You know what? It's on maximum. They'll they'll probably you know fight soon enough. Any goat referees been killed yet? Oh, speak of the devil. Disrespectful man. And you know, that's another feature that I've seen will be in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Two dinosaurs exiting at once. That'd be perfect for tag team matches. Are you t Hold on, I gotta confirm. Are you talking to the... Wait. What are you doing? He was talking to that goat. I don't think he was talking to the goat. I think he's glitched. That's a problem. 
Come on. Okay. He's not good. Kind of looked like he was, though. Sometimes the dinosaur will just be kind of locked into an animation. You know what annoying thing is? I had two triceratops that were, you know, fighting each other in that kind of territorial way. And they kind of glitched, and I had to tranquilize them because they were not in the animation and they were slowly dying of starvation at first. Ooh, what a gore to the face. Ooh. Just ooh and ah. Well, it looks like Albertosaurus uh, got one over on Triceratops there, but the map is not over yet. Also got the Avery in the background there. And uh, space on the island is like, ah, oh, just plant that down. Is this gonna be it, or are you gonna back down? You're backing down. Of course. Arm number one. Ah, it really hurts to be number one. Well, I'm gonna go, uh, uh, make noises and... Well, make noises, I suppose. You know, there's a dilemma when it comes to doing these videos. On the one hand, yeah, cool dinosaur battles. On the other hand, I'm like, it's a bit cruel. I know they're just like, uh, you know, video game dinosaurs, but they still do that. But now, if that was like, I remember Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. The uh, combat in that was a bit different. So that right there would have probably killed Albertosaurus and things like that because they just charge each other and stuff like that. And just like the carnivores would just chomp down. Hello. Kind of looked like Agrocadmosaurus for a brief second there. And by look like Agrocampsaurus, I mean the one in this game. That doesn't really look like how Agrocampsaurus is supposed to look. I think Triceratops is probably screwed. If Tor I feel like if Taurosaurus was the one taking the fight, I'd think they'd have a chance, but I think this may be it. The Ceratops in team. Oh, never mind! Fighting back. Albertosaurus still not out. Oh! Is that it? I don't know. Still going on. You're alive, right? You're just taking a nap. Got wounds, you see. Been 13 minutes to this match. I'm sure the fans are loving every second of it. Or are you dead? He's dying! Well, we can't have that. How foolish are you? There's water right there! You're going to die in the ring. You're gonna cost your tag team partner the championship. I mean, outside interference from the Rangers is not really allowed, but in this case, I'll allow it. Maybe I should have made a second. W I mean, I've got a second warden hole. It's small, but there's one over here. Oh, he, he's getting close to death. Here, I like if I didn't click out the check that he would have died. We would have had a very anticlimactic end to this matchup. Now go drink some water. And this is a long match, I gotta say. 
was not expecting it to go on this long. What are you doing? Panic! I don't know where there is water! Dinosaur Fritz. <laughs> it's like, you, you're cheating! You healed our opponents! Damn it, you're against us, then I will destroy you! Okay, so he's finally taking a drink. Good. Now we just gotta wait several hours and maybe we'll see the uh, conclusion of this matchup. Oh wait, we might see it now. 47 versus... Oh, Triceratops. Should have left this one to Taurosaurus. He would have had it in the bag, Taurosaurus. Unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna get the shot. Maybe get lucky. No, you didn't. And still your tag team champions. Albertosaurus and Albertosaurus. <laughs> They, they seriously would have had a chance of winning if Taurosaurus would have just got off his lazy ass. And that match ended in a stalemate. It wouldn't matter either way because Albertosaurus has already got the ball. So, that was the first match. Second match will be uh, kind of a match coming full circle between two dinosaurs, Ceratosaurus and Majungasaurus. If you've watched my previous ones of these videos, started off maybe a year or two ago. I can't remember. It was like one of the early ones. I think it was titled No Dino Out is a parody of No Way Out. WWE pay-per-view. And they had a match and it ended in a no contest. And then after that, I was like, okay, let's, let's kind of do the thing. Let's have them be like tag team partners that don't get along. And they did okay for themselves. But lost twice when, you know, going up against the tag champions. I can't remember if they faced them both times or if it was a different match the first time. Either way it goes, them not getting along cost them the match both times. So they're finally going to settle their, you know, grudge in the ring in the next match. So before that, I learned a promo from Ceratosaurus and Majungasaurus. Because I do random give the dinosaurs like a kind of promo in between, you know, to keep in theme with all this. So either one of those will have a promo, and we'll move on to that match. See you then. Jungasaurus, you are going to be facing your former tag team partner in a singles match. What are your thoughts heading in? Well, I say it's about time. That damn Ceratosaurus has been getting in my way for months now, and I'm tired of it. Now I'm going to settle this in the ring and show him that he is nothing compared to me. And we're back with the slight delay. So I will move the camera in 3, 2, 1. Wait, no. That wrong button. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> We're in the Ceratops enclosure while we wait for the uh, dinosaurs to get ready. Not really much to it. I mean, this has got to be the most half-assed park I've made in ages. But then again, it was the first uh, park I've actually made in ages as well. It's like, it's just like, ah, uh, whatever. We got Cyraxaurus, Triceratops, and Taurosaurus in here. I might as well show what it looks like on the map. It's really not much to it. Like, look how small and cramped in this looks. It's like, hey, couldn't you make this enclosure a bit bigger? It's like, yeah, I probably could have. Yeah, probably could have. Maybe. I mean, look at this big ass space here that's got nothing in it. It's like, why can you put us there, man? We would have had a lot more space. It's just like, because I didn't really plan it out all that well. It's just like, it's have like, at near the entrance, 
simple herbivore kind of enclosure with the uh, truck. And then over here we'll have the main attraction, Spinosaurus. And then over here we'll have Velociraptor. And then, uh, then you got the uh, set opposite up there, you got the apiary over here, and then you got like the Jurassic kind of dinosaurs in this enclosure. But then you come around here, the gyrosphere connecting the two together. You got this little area, which has Paxapsaurus, Ankylosaurus, and Dreadnoughtus. I was just like, hey, that's a random, you know, pairing I don't really ever have used. It's for Ankylosaurus, Paxapsaurus, and Dreadnoughtus all in the same enclosure, and only those dinosaurs. It's just like, eh, whatever. Anyways, let's get on with the match. These two have butted heads one too many times and they gotta settle it in the ring. I could see for the stats that give them a junk source the defense edge. Our Ceratosaurus has the attack. So, uh, it's probably going to be a while before they actually, you know, try to kill each other, more or less. Let's get in the goat referee. It's glitched! I cannot click on you! Weird when that happens. Are they gonna fight already? Nope. <laughs> They're out on the food, you take the water, I don't care. We'll fight some other time. That is weird. Can click on it here, though. Okay, now it works. Sometimes does that. Gonna fight. I don't think so. Yeah, completely unrelated. Well, sort of, but it's related, I guess, because we're seeing it in action here. When I played the game the first time, uh, when I did Ila Pena, I think I had, uh, I think it was the Caradontosaurus, and a T-Rex, I think, in the same enclosure, and they would fight, but they were too evenly matched to kill each other. They kind of, for the most part, coexist in the same enclosure. But they would fight all the time, and you'd get the pop-up message saying, it's like, oh, dinosaurs are fighting! Exciting match so far, isn't it? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. If by the seven minute mark on this recording, and by that I mean not since like the start, I click start on the record. If they haven't got into battle by the seven minute mark, then I will turn it on to the maximum combat. So it's like, why don't I do that in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of let them do whatever they want to do. You know, chill. Chill or kill, it's up to them. It's 
got a lot of shade going on here, isn't it? It's like, shield you from the sun. Well, not really. You get that idea. Time's almost up, Majongasaurus. And Ceratosaurus. What's your next move gonna be? Are you gonna run? No, you're gonna prowl. Okay, it's time to switch the set. I mean, this is supposed to be a grudge match. And <laughs> they're just like, nah. <laughs> oh, wait. What are you doing? Oh, the officials. I got referees every time. No respect. If I could name the goats, they'd be Rod's. I'm not Rodney Dangerfield, I guess. Where is the rat source at? Oh, you too? This isn't a goat killing contest. Uh, I guess that could be arranged. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Let loose a bunch of carnivores. With like loads of goat feeders and like time in ten minutes, it's like, oh, who got the most kills? The trouble with that is you can't pause the game and look at the impact at the same time, so yeah, it would be kind of difficult to pull off if there's too many carnivals. Round one, fight! Okay, uh, sort of evenly matched. We're out of source having a slight edge. A junk source, quick on its feet. But of course, it is but round one. So that source actually had. I should have boosted the junk source defense. Nah, no, you've probably been thinking this all time since Matt started. And yes. What is this? What's going on? We have interference! Ceratosaurus has backup. This was a really stupid idea. <laughs> it's like, shouldn't this be a D2? <laughs> it's like, get out of the ring, all the Ceratosaurus. It's like, but they both got the same skin, you can't tell which one's which. It's can. That one says CRT002. That one says 001. Let's see how this plays out, nonetheless. I'm not sure it's really going to make much of a difference, honestly. Oh, wait. Oh, no. If you can somehow uh, get out of this one alive, then you are a legend, Machandasaurus, because... Ceratosaurus, the one that's interfered in this match. That bite didn't even connect, so it doesn't count as a DQ. If it doesn't connect... Look at this force power now. It's like, no, I did... I, I, I didn't knock him out. He fell. Honest. Most... I mean, you saw that. 
That was the absolute worst dinosaur wrestling I've ever seen. They didn't even try to make it look believable. I mean, those attacks were f like, they missed by so much. So would that count as a DQ or a Ceratosaurus win? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, insult to injury. Well, that's that match, I guess. I don't think this is the end of their feud, though. If anything, that's just going to, you know, enhance it. We'll probably see a tag team match. Although the next uh, pay-per-view parody will probably be uh, Survivor Series, so uh, I'm not sure if I can ha if I'll have that match on the card or not. Majungasaurus probably going to have back up to take on Ceratosaurus in the future. I was about to say in the near future, but that's still months away probably before I get around to that. But yeah, that was that match. That was a match, all right. Yeah. Let's stare at a birdcage. Can't really get a good look in it, really. Let's do this. I mean, even in capture mode, you can't go inside this, which is weird. No else is weird. This. Oh, wait, no, never mind. You've ruined my demonstration. There, there, there. It's like it's not even there. Well, whatever. That was that was that match. On to the third match, which is pretty much a rematch from Dynamania. The Cruiserweight Championship, reigning champion Dynamicus versus challenger Velociraptor, who lost the title at Dynamania. How will the match play out? Find out after a promo from either of the two dinosaurs, I don't know which, but it'll be one of them. So on with that. Velociraptor, having lost the Cruiserweight Championship at Dynomania, you are now getting a rematch against the current champion, the one who defeated you at Dynomania, Dinonychus. What are your thoughts heading into this? <sighs> Give me a break. It was a fluke. A fluke, I tell you. Don't even say anything about how he won that match. It was a fluke, nothing more. And I will prove it in the ring. And I will regain that title. Really, what more can I say? It was a damn fluke. Get out of here. And we're in the Velociraptor enclosure as we return to Dino Slam 2021. I will move the camera in 3, 2, 1, 0. Just for thinking the audio. Looks like they're in a pool of some sort, isn't it? You will be in the next match. I mean, not you, like, as in you right there. I mean, another Flossoraptor will be in the match. One that is honestly going to be stronger than this. Because, uh, I've, uh, I mean, I don't even need to really boost that. I could just make it so that they're evenly matched for the most part. Give one, you know, a defense edge and the other the attack edge and see what happens. There's only three of you here. It's a fairly small enclosure. But I guess they could do laps around here. I mean, it's reasonable size, surely. Actually, I haven't uh, changed those settings, so. It's like, yeah, we could use a little bit more trees, but hey, yeah, it's fine, you guys. I should, uh, you know, probably do that before sec uh, the entrance is there. So that, that, and that. So the challenger was originally the champ. You know, I've never really given me much thought, but 
You just can't, once you're like nosy, you just can't look. Okay, the same. Those hands should not move like that at all. <laughs> that does not look right, does it? That is not how hands should work on such a creature. And the reigning defending champion! The blue tadpole! Tadpole versus Scaly Boy. And they're both scaly, right? Uh, it was always been kind of a thing, it's like dinosaurs and feathers and all that, but yeah, Flossoraptor. I mean, I'm not sure if there's ever been feathers found on Flossoraptor specifically, but I wouldn't be surprised. To the fact that dinosaurs that should be covered in feathers. And they're already getting right to the fight. Ooh, oh, this is not looking great for Dynamis. How are you taking so much damage? Okay, now we're looking at it. It's evenly matched. Dynamis was getting the absolute crap kicked out of him, but pulled through in the end there. But the match is not over. That was just round one. What a butthole that guy is. Thinks he can get the tires back off me? You think again. Did I, you know, in the transition between this bit and the previous match, I can't remember if I mentioned, like, promo from either Velociraptor or Dinonychus in between. My memory is pretty crap. <laughs> like, instantly forget things. Oh, you know, it's weird, isn't it? It's like, it's so small. It's like, where are you guys? But, you know, they're actually kind of big. I don't get why every dinosaur is so big compared to people. I mean, look at these people out here. Compare them to that. I mean, you can't really from that angle, but... I mean, Deinonychus is, like... The rep Velociraptors in the, uh, the movies are basically Deinonychus, really, aren't they? Size-wise, Velociraptor moves a lot smaller. But every dinosaur in this game seems to tower over everyone. It's like, sure, there were a lot of big dinosaurs, but you know, there were some that weren't all that big. Some of them hardly bigger than a cat, some even possibly smaller than a cat. And by a cat, I mean a house cat. Where are they? <laughs> I'd expect this from Comsognephus, but uh, I wouldn't expect to find it hard to find a Velociraptor and a Deinonychus. Especially when one has such a uh, distinct color, oh, there you are. I mean, that blue really stands out. Okay, once again, like the first maps, soon as Boss Rapper gets a 70%, and uh, if they haven't, you know, started fighting again, I will put it on maximum. Recover pretty quickly. What if Jurassic World Evolution 2 will? Give more options when it comes to water. It'd be nice to kind of make like a moat or something, you know? I mean, it kind of would, uh... Pretty much negate fences entirely, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, well, you can't cross that. It's too deep. I mean, maybe one way they could incorporate that is you've got to have, like, uh... Maybe a fence type that you have to have around and then you can build a moat within the area of the fence. You know, something, at the very least. I mean, that fence would be kind of impossible to get at because of the moat then, but... 
it'd be a cool, you know, image. Just like big ass boat around your dinosaurs. It's raining again. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, so, you know, I might as well just. Uh, hmm. There we go. Feel like I'm giving a disadvantage to Velociraptor doing that. But I think Velociraptor has a slight disadvantage in general here, it seems. Now, let me check the info on you. Wait a minute, show it. Will this be our final battle? Maybe, so let's uh, go in the capture mode. Uh oh, it's over. Yeah. It's like He's a carnival, so I don't roll up on victory. Because that's a thing in this game, for whatever reason. Dinosaur kills an old dinosaur in battle. It's a carnival. It will roll at the end if it kills a herbivore, but not a fellow carnival. Surely he could fit through that. Not even electrifies. Safety hazard, man. Safety hazard. Doesn't take into account smaller dinosaurs. You have a consignificant leap up on you somehow and be out in the park in no time. Instead, every dinosaur in this bloody game can just go Meeeees, meeeees, and they're out. Even the smallest dinosaur that can break through concrete, it makes no sense. But still, your cruiserweight champion, Deinonychus. Now, as I said at the start of this recording, I better go do the three matches in this uh, record session. We'll do the other three at some other points. You can add insult to injury there. But the next match will be two out of three falls match. Sukumimus versus Allosaurus. The reasoning behind the fight is because at Dino Mania, they both challenged Aquacanthosaurus for the. Uh, the Razor Championship and lost. And uh, they're gonna fight it out, and I guess maybe whoever wins will become the number one contender for a shot at the Razor Championship, even though they both lost in the previous pay per view parody, but whatever. And Sukumimus will have the promo in between, of course. Because Sukumimus is like. Basically, like, I just kind of think like Dolph Ziggler, I guess. Weird thing is, is like, oh yeah, I keep sort of up to date with wrestling these days to an extent, but I don't watch it at all. I haven't properly watched WWE in well over a decade. Like mid-2000s when I stopped watching, probably. Who's on low health? Eat food and drink, you fool. That happens occasionally. But yeah, from what I've, you know, seen of that guy, that's kind of what Super Minus has going. He's just like, talks a lot of shit and then loses every single time. But will that be the case against Allosaurus? That remains to be seen. So a promo of Super Minus will close off this video, this recording. And then the next part, whenever I get around to that, recording for it, we'll have that match and the other two matches on the card. So until then, on to Sukumimus promo, it's out for now. Sukumimus, you will be facing Allosaurus in a 2 out of 3 falls match. What are your thoughts heading in?
Look, I know I haven't exactly been on a winning streak as of late. And there's a reason for that. It's because every time I get in that ring, I always get screwed over in some way. Somehow it always seems to happen at the worst possible time. But it doesn't matter. Two out of three falls, I'm going to beat him twice. I might even kick his ass a third time if he ever decides to get up after that. But I don't think he'll be getting up anytime soon once I'm done with him. So, Allosaurus, I'm going to kick your ass. I'll see you in the ring.